Yeah, all right, what's everyone saying? Welcome back. Good afternoon or good evening whenever this goes out. It's now 2.45. I've just sat through half of uh, Derek Gordonbeggy's uh, premiere. Jesus Christ, where do we find these goofs? Um, look, I'm going to cover what I was covering in my um, previous video. Of the fight is cancelled. The big fight is cancelled. Yeah, you can go to... About halfway through, you'll find me talking about Derek Golden Beggy and his um, begging and his scams again, which unfortunately, unfortunately, they've started again. We've had um, community posts with um, please become a member. We've had him pin please become a member on certain videos. Now we've had in the chat him coming there saying you can buy a super sticker. Or become a member in the chat. It just stinks of desperation. It just stinks of one big con. Here we go again. Deja vu. Look, I will say one thing about Danny Lad. Danny Christie, yeah? He's not a beggar. He's a man's man, yeah? He's made some mistakes, yeah? Maybe I have been a bit too harsh on him. But maybe not. Um, look, he doesn't come on begging. He hasn't got a member's shit on his um on his uh, channel yeah he makes money the old-fashioned way through videos if someone does send him a super chat or a super thanks normally he'll turn around and say you don't have to do that you know i don't need the money but you know he'll treat the kids or something like that you know that's what you call genuine and not greedy which beggy is he's he's, he's so fucking greedy it's back to the old you know, pulling on the vulnerable's heartstrings now with his sob story about Big June and um, what he'd been up to with the rats, the bed bugs. Um, the, the meals were horrible, um, the portions of, you know, and this is someone who only previously had been stuffing his fat face full of yellow rice. Do you remember it all dripping out and him speaking with his mouth? Doing it on purpose. It seemed like he was doing it on purpose to antagonize the viewer and now we're back to the old you know him sat there on the couch giving his hard luck stories in other words please become a member please donate imagine there'll be a gofundme soon you know it's all rather desperate where's something that's motivational like you're training for this big fight instead of you sat there on your armchair just like the shadow bacon Talking absolute nonsense. Save all your sub stories for your best-selling book. We all want to hear them. I tried. Look, I really tried. I tried to watch Decker's premiere with an open mind. With an open mind, you know. But it was so fucking boring. I've just got to be. It was boring. No more talks of Chew. You know the baby and them living happily ever after. Now it's it's nobody's business. No, it was everyone's business. Why he was sat there, um, how can we say, leeching off her for uh, hospitality, even though that was very little, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can find these lists of previous illness on my latest short video, if anyone cares to take a gander. I mean, it's a long list, and I'm sure I've left off a few of his illnesses from that list, you know. Tell him that I'm ill. <laughs> Tell them that I'm ill and you've got to come over. You've got to be my carer. <laughs> I'll get you the visa. Don't worry. <laughs> my decision. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could come on here and say that he's changed. That we're going to see a new Decker. There's going to be no more back and forth, he was saying. That's already started with David. There's going to be no more shitty videos. There's going to be no more begging videos. There's going to be no more hard luck story videos. It's all started. It's all one big scam. It's all... Look. How these people have the bare-faced audacity. And to still... There's still people feeling sorry for him. Now, I, I, I'll be a hypocrite if I didn't say I slightly felt sorry for him during his time he was writing in that bit tune. I wouldn't wish that on anyone, yeah? But it's, look, it's not about his story. It's not about how he suffered. It's all about money. He is 
is just so fucking greedy. He's, you know? You can just see the greed come off the pores of his skin. You know? He sat there, as per usual, making video day after day, two videos, three videos a day, you know, milking the vulnerable, milking the nitwits, yeah, the people that will send to him. He's another one, a bit like Paul Dumbo Venice. Paul Dumbo Venice is a fake as well. He's a mental health ambassador, not always sat at his kitchen table, table, moaning, sobbing, crying, feeling sorry for himself. Oh, they're all picking on me. Oh, they're all picking on me. He's another one that's got members. He's got. You can join Paul Dumbo Venice's channel as well and listen to some some stories um, of self pity. Yeah, because that's all it is, self pity. You know what I mean? None of these lot have ever been through a real hard time in life. Yeah? Decker has, all right, for the first time in his 45 years, he's now, you know, been involved in some, you know, something rough, something tough in his life, yeah? And has it made him a, a better, stronger person? Has it changed him? Has it changed him? The answer to that, to that is a simple, no, it hasn't. He's still back on the bag. There'll be a GoFundMe soon. There'll be more videos soon. There'll be more members things soon. There'll be more ex ex expectations for Super Chats soon. The guy is so greedy. That's all. God bless. See you tomorrow.